everyone, welcome back to another episode of Talking With Me, Zoe. This week, I want to talk to you about five things. Wow, I look so pale. Oh, God bless me. So this week, I want to talk to you all about five things Maltese people cannot live without. And personally, as I live abroad and don't live back home in Malta at the moment, I know for certain I can't live without these things because I get very sad if I do not have them on a regular basis. So, first and foremost, we cannot live, or else I cannot live, like this is my top priority, without conserva. Now, conserva is a beautiful, beautiful tomato paste that we put on warm bread and soak it in olive oil and balsamic and go and just eat it up and it's so good. I have run out of conserva and I'm not home for another month, so I'm very sad at this moment in time about that fact. There is nothing, and I swear to you, there is nothing in this world that can replicate conserva. It's the best. No tomato puree, don't give me that passata shit. It's only good for pizza. Conserva is where it's at. Second thing that we cannot live without, and again, this is very biased from me, is the sea. We are so connected to the sea, it is a part of us and we absolutely we just love it and i know so many people that live um abroad that find themselves navigating towards the sea gravitating sorry not navigating um gravitating towards the sea whenever they can or going home every two months to make sure they can see the sea and obviously their family and friends but um the sea is such an important part of our upbringing and it's so embedded in our culture we spend all our time next to it if we can as a person who doesn't live next to the sea at the moment i can i can confirm it is just one of one of the things in our lives we cannot live without the third thing is galetti again focusing a lot on the food here but we are very food oriented people as multi as maltese so galetti are these like crackers which again i have run out of and i'm not in a good mood because of it these small crackers um i don't know if the beautiful viva malta editing team can maybe put like a picture of a galletti packet here they're just so yummy and they have different flavors and again have those dipped in some hummus or dipped in some just any dip or bagilla or cheese galetti and cheese is top-notch food and yeah you've got a meal right there and then or a platter with some galletti some uh, cold cuts and some cheese as a vegetarian i'll just gravitate towards the cheese but that's, that's totally fine the fourth thing which a lot a lot of maltese people and a lot of maltese sort of de descendants to maltese people because i have a lot of uh, family who are foreign who sort of come from first and second generation immigrants who cannot live without this and that is kini now i personally can live without kini because i don't enjoy it it's an acquired taste but it is definitely something i know a lot of maltese people cannot live without because it is essential to their sort of lifeline of of, of food and drink i don't like it Mm, sorry, but yes, very important. Kinney, it's this orange zesty soft drink that is only produced in Malta and it's really sour, but really sweet. Anyway, I'm not gonna describe it because I don't like it, but I know a lot of people who do. So that is our fourth one. And my fifth one is a personal, personal favorite, and that is twisties. Now, if you haven't tasted twisties, then you haven't lived. They are great. They are just a packet of cheese puff things. I don't even know how to describe them. They're not cheese puffs, but they are cheese flavored and they're just yummy. They're just something your mom chucks into your lunchbox every day for school. That or jumbo or jungle sticks, which you know are the packets of your childhood in Malta. But twisties is definitely something that I need to bring back with me when I come home from Malta and always have stocked up in the cupboards because it's just something that stops you from he feeling homesick and it's just a nice snack and it's just so good. So those are the five things I believe Maltese people cannot live without. I do understand they were mainly food. And that says a lot, I feel, about who we are as a nation. So I hope you're doing well. Have a nice day. Keep sanitizing your hands. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye.